no other country in the world, not one, insults China. Both nations to date know that they mustn't go to war. We have to be ready or ready for an even nastier authoritarianism. We also need to be ready for a more liberal, more friendly China. China is not the Soviet Union, right? In many fundamental ways. I like the Soviet Union and today's Russia. It has a competitive, sustainable economy. Paradoxically, if the United States tried to carry out containment policy on China, it would be containing itself. We know we have common interests, we know we should cooperate, but strategic distrust is so deep that we don't seem capable of it, and distrust is deep. The, the, the competition within China and the and United States will not be in the military sphere, it will be in the economic sphere. I don't believe that uh, China is capable of global leadership uh, in the way that America has exercised it. Its current administration is seriously mismanaging China's economy. Places like Brown, whether you're from China, from the United States, or from other countries, is that people who are educated like you, while you're going to be critical of both countries, your education and your experience inoculates you against coarse propaganda and demonization of the other. And if you're watching this, I'm guessing that you'll want to find a way, too, to help these two superpowers bridge what sometimes seems like an impossible divide, but one which I'm hopeful can be overcome.